Yes, I do have YouTube rivalry. You probably saw the title, and it's true. So, yeah, let's get it. This is with a YouTuber that, if you are on my channel, you might probably know. He is Savage Beast, and you might know him. He was the dinosaur in the Pokemon video, and I think he's been in some of my other videos, but his brother is Sir Poopsalot, which was in the Pokemon video which ended up being one of my most um, viewed videos. So congratulations to that. And before we start the video, just remember to like and subscribe if you like this story because we want to be here in subscribers. He's at 19, we are at 24, 25, I think. Let's see if we can get 30 subscribers before August and I or before um, September. And if we do it before August, I will be so happy <clears throat> and I will produce daily content like my description says. So that's enough of that. Let's get into this video. I don't know if I should say his name. Savage Feast, I'll just call him. Um, have been friends for a long time. We are actually friends since we were two. We live in the same neighborhood. We go to the same school. We're in the same grade. So, yeah, it seems like we did this pair together, right? But it's not what it looks like. We have been rivals in many things, but all the time we come back as friends, but we're always and that's just sort of my personality is just starting things and you know um i don't know like leaving things that i started unless they're stable because i will come back and fix them so that's sort of my personality to do that and we've been rivals on a lot of things but currently it's sort of the youtube vibe so he has been posting a lot of um vlogs and they're basically vlogs, but video vlogs. You should know that by now if you're watching this. But yeah, so um, so let me just tell you sort of some of the origins. I have failed on trying to do this footage right now it's two times, and both of them have been very bad. So let's start with the beginning. So basically we just moved in and we met Savage Beast. But, you know, we didn't call him Savage Beast, will be. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. But, I was, a lot of the kids in my neighborhood now have YouTube channels, and I'm glad to know that I was sort of the inspiration for that, because I was the first one to have a YouTube channel. It was my last YouTube channel. Ended up not doing too good. I wanted a fresh, new channel. You know, my own name, my own videos, my own stuff in it. Because that video, that channel was not fresh anymore. I like to say the YouTube channels are like fruits, like um, food. They get, they're really ripe and then they just start to lose. But I really tried to keep it up, but I wasn't the best content creator as I am now because I actually, I've watched more YouTube and I know what the idea of a YouTuber is now. Because I, when I started that channel, I was in first grade and a first grader should not know how to make million dollar videos. Oh wait. It's Ryan Toys First grader old me thought that dumb stuff would give me subscribers. And I could say it worked, I guess. I got to 15 in like, I got 15 in three years. And it's only been about a year. We're almost going to hit one year on this. And I've gotten 25. So it's pretty good. But hopefully we can get like 40 or 50 maybe on the date that I started my YouTube channel. But um, yeah, it didn't work out, I guess, because that YouTube channel was not fresh. And I didn't have the best. I didn't have the best. Well, I didn't have the best stuff and places and I didn't have that much experience over all of that to make a YouTube channel. So I found this app called iMovie when I was about in first grade. Yeah, about that same time. But I wouldn't, I only use, I used it towards the end of first grade. Sort of in the summer when I was about to go in second grade. Now, I still use this app. I am using this app to record this video. And it is a really cool app if you want to edit stuff like your videos. And I was 
I never used it though, but I would record videos of us and our friends playing. And that's sort of what got me into this um, arena, I guess. I can say that Charlie didn't end up in that arena because of an app. And he arrived in that arena because of everybody else. And it is just a point where I'm kind of thinking to sabotage his YouTube channel. But again, this is all a friendly battle. This is nothing you should be typing into his YouTube channel. Oh, I hate you, you know. Um, Banana Pepper's winning, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, this is just a friendly battle. I can turn it into a, don't get on. I can do, I can turn it into a harsh battle if you want. So, tell me if you want it to be a friendly or a real YouTuber battle. Because I still wanna hit the 30 subscribers has nothing to do with this at all. I know I said it might've been the intro, but this has nothing to do with the ri ri rivalry. Just, um, gets, I guess. No, it's not, okay. I'm trying to get, I just want to try to get my subscriber rate up because we've kind of been on, um, we've kind of been kind of blank. Like I, well, okay. We kind of, we just have been on one road and I want to go on to the other roads, if you know what I mean. So let's take a minute to talk about me and Charlie's friendship. So yeah, with Charlie being a sports kid and me being not a sports kid, I guess, when you score shows together, they don't mix as well as you think they might. I've always been good at sports, but I've never liked to play them. Like I've never liked to be on teams for the sports. Now I was on a Fortnite league and that was probably one of the funnest things I've ever decided to do in my life. So I'm probably gonna be doing that again because that is my, what I like to do. Now Charlie likes to play baseball, something he likes to do. So I think that he should just be making um, videos about baseball or whatever he is doing, but instead he's making these videos that don't exactly make, well they are vlogs, and I get that, that he wants to show what his lifestyle is like and what he does, because, you know, it's what everyone wants to know about their YouTuber their favorite YouTuber, but, um, like, I make my videos about my passions, and, like, those Fortnite videos, I'm gonna switch into Minecraft now, because it's getting really popular, and I used to play it all the time, and I'm gonna start switching to Minecraft videos, too, and, yeah, so, those didn't mix well if you put them together. Now, let me show you some of the details. Me and Savage Beast's houses, since so they're not too far away from each other, have always been the club hangouts where everybody comes and we all have fun. But that did get sometimes it, it was fun. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's, it was fun. But that was sort of our first rivalry. While well, my friends on my street would try to get everybody to come over here, his friends on his street would secretly try to get everyone to come over there. But it never really, like, we never really had one place. We'd always be swapping those. We never had one of those nights where we're constantly going house to house because it is a bike ride over there. It is a walk over there. But if you take a bike or a car or like a, an electric scooter or something, you could get there um, if you take a bike in a car, probably the most efficient ways. Maybe even a private jet. I'm kidding, not a private jet. But, um, yeah, so. But Charlie, this arena that he put himself into, is not taking the best of his personality. Because I've known him longer than anybody else. Like, other people at my school will be like, oh, I know Charlie more than you. And I'm like, well, guess what? I was the first kid who'd known him his brother has known him as long as me so that's kind of funny to think that his own brother he's probably seen his brother more than me and his and for some reason i know him longer so yeah so i mean go for it make vlogs do videos do whatever you want on youtube but just try not to put yourself in the wrong place because if you do you know, something can bad, something bad can happen. You know, you can lose popularity, you can gain popularity. You, 
YouTube is basically a roller coaster for everybody. Because, you know, um, people can hit a million and they can go back to 8,000 and then they might never hit a million again. You know, YouTube is just something that you, that where the competition is real. And on these lower channels, there is competition going on to some of the higher channels and some of the um, local lower channels. So I feel like for people to have a YouTube rivalry, you really have to step up the competition, not with you, but the best, yeah, you have to step up your competition and you really have to put your foot forward and you really, if you wanna win whatever you're trying to do, you should just believe in yourself and make the best content you can and even if that doesn't work just you know try your best and eventually you will hit your goal and that's really something that I want everybody to hear because if you don't try your hardest now you might never get it again later so YouTube is a one in a lifetime experience so if you don't do this one thing now you might never get to do it again if you run a YouTube channel now, you might never own something again. So you really want to be passionate about your YouTube channel and like you want to, if you if you have a YouTube channel and leave it alone for a long time, just not posting, at least make a video saying why you're not there because your subscribers are start going to unsubscribe and then in six months later when you hop on and you really try to, to make videos, you're gonna have no subscribers and you're gonna have no progress and no one's gonna remember who you were because they also unsubscribed and now they're not getting those notifications and they can't spread the word, they can't tell their friends, they can't do anything about it. So it's really an odd place that he's putting himself into. So this video is now going to an end. Remember to like and subscribe, let's get, let's hit 30 subscribers, maybe even more by the end of July or September. Or the end of July or um, end of September. That's what I really want to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Or man, again, this is just a friendly fight. It's just a video. And leave down in the comments if you want it to be a friendly or real fight. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't a normal sort of video you expect from me, but I've been wanting to make one of these videos for a long time. So this is always Okay, so, yeah, I think I should stop talking. But, again, let's hit 30, end of July, beginning of September. If we do, I'll set more goals, and then I'll start making um, better stuff. Like, I'll start daily loading. So, yeah.